My name is Jim Spillane. I'm a photographer from the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. I just came back from nine months of traveling, three months in Sri Lanka, five months in Nepal. I stayed with um, a rather poor family in the interior of uh, Sri Lanka. How many years have you been a photographer? I studied under Marion Patterson, a lady that worked with Ansel Adams. Uh, back in, I guess, 71, 72 maybe. And then I started selling my photographs, I think, in 84. But I was an attorney working uh, in Alaska, California, and with the uh, Ford White House was my last job. You're kidding. Doing what kind of law? Uh, criminal defense. Of Nixon? Ah, oh, ha, ha, I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, after the pardon, which was legally questionable. Um, Every day I try to photograph differently. Here I try to change a seascape into a landscape where the next wave looks more like clouds than, a, well, it doesn't look like a wave at all, actually. I don't want the photograph to look like a photograph. I'd rather it look like a impressionistic watercolor or something. I keep the camera open for three, four seconds. The woman is pounding rice. I'm working on a series of photographs of women working, and I don't want to be literal all the time, or any of the time, really. So I uh, do it in different ways. This is uh, the reflections of nine women that are planting rice. The monsoon was actually late this year, so a couple of weeks uh, they had to wait for the rain to come. I have a lot of photographs of children. I uh, was photographing at a brick factory nearby where I was living, about an hour outside of Kathmandu. My guide and I would go there every morning and every afternoon for five months. So we got pictures that almost look choreographed, meaning in one case 32 people just carrying bricks in, right in the pit of the brick factory. But it's just so uh, balanced, you know, people are coming and going, but in a couple cases the sun is hitting all the brick dust that's blowing around and kind of gives it a dusty glow to the whole thing. But by going there for so many days, you got to see different lighting effects. Of course, it changed uh, as the season changed. But you also got to meet the people and the mothers. Uh, I would give them their photographs, but they really just wanted their babies' pictures. And they kind of liked me because I was uh, almost a substitute nursery teacher. The kids are cool. These kids live in the brick factory. A lot of them have eye problems because of the, uh, the dust from the bricks and the coal. You know, the mothers had to go off and carry bricks. And the babies would be crying and pulling on their legs. And every day you'd see this drama and the mother, you know, kind of fake scolding the kid, walking a couple of feet away and then having to go back. And it, it, the whole routine was sad and comical at the same time. But then uh, the kids would come over and I'd play with them for a bit. And then they'd just go off and, you know, sit on piles of bricks and entertain themselves.